So a good way to troubleshoot is to do a lot of console.log so then, then you check the console. So at this point, I just want to know the X and Y values that I'm getting here. So I'm going to do console.log like this. And here I'm going to do mouse X and mouse Y. So I'll create an object inside the console.log and then put mouse Y and then mouse mouse X and Y. Like that. Okay. So let's refresh again. Let me inspect. So we go to the console and let me add an image. And I just want this to go down. So save that so that we have a scroll bar. And then I'll clear the console and scroll up. Now, really what I want to see is I'll, I need a scroll bar here, but I know this is X, Y, 0, 0, 0. So I want to see there exactly what the values are. So there's mouse X and mouse Y. That's, uh, yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah, because those are like 5 on the X. Why is it 5 though? This should be zero, zero. So let me do this. Let's go here, right at the top corner there. Okay, I think it's close enough. One and two pixels there. So this is working just fine. But here we have an issue that isn't responding well. So the problem is not with this section here. This part does a good job. So it's here where we're drawing uh, draw mode is here. We are indeed using mouse X. So we are grabbing this mouse down position X. Okay. That's what we are using to stroke. So let's look at where that is coming from. And it's coming from here. And at this point, we are indeed getting, taking into account these things here. Okay. So let me do a console.log here instead and see what's happening there. So do console.log and create an object. And I want to grab the X and Y from this copy. I'm going to name the first one X dot X and then comma Y full colon dot y. All right, so I just want to know those values there. So let's go through the process again of creating some new content. And we have a scroll bar. That's nice. Now let's go to the console. And let me clear the console. And I want to get 0 comma 0 right at the top there. And there lies in the problem. So the Y is negative. Why is that? So if I click X is 2, which seems okay. But why is the Y? I think the X seems okay because there's no X scroll bar. So since it's going negative, let's subtract these two there, which is weird that we have to subtract here. Okay, so one more test. Click and drag. Save. Okay, so it seems, is it working? No, it's not working. So let's scroll up again. Let's see how much things have changed. So I'm going to do that and click on there. Okay, there's a negative again. That's weird. Why is there a negative? <laughs> Okay, what's really going on here? Mm -hmm. So this is the initial number that we want. And then we add this. Ah, okay, that's my problem here. Simple things like this, you know, instead of putting the X, I put a Y there. So instead of putting Y, I put X. So that was my bad. Okay. So make sure there's a Y here, X and Y. 
Let me make sure of the same thing at the top here, X and Y. Okay. All right, let's try one more time. Sometimes it can take you a while to figure out what you've done wrong, but don't give up. Just keep testing until you get it right. Okay, so now it's working regardless the scroll bar position, which is nice. So I can close this now. Okay, save. Now let me try and save without creating anything and uh, I get a warning. Okay, so let's make sure that we don't get such errors as well. This part right here, save selected, should only work if temp box has some value in there. Okay, so temp box, usually when we clear everything, we set it to an empty object. So I just want to know if it's got, if the length is not zero, Wait, wait, not not that actually. If temp box dot x, okay, so this is an object. So we only export when, so we're gonna say if temp box dot x. So the type of, I'm gonna do type of temp box dot x is not equal to undefined. Okay, so type of is what you put when you want to know what the type of whatever item you are checking is. Now, if there is no X variable inside temp box, then it's going to return undefined as a string if you check its type. So we're saying if it's not undefined, meaning it's something, or it exists, this is how we check if an object or an item exists or a variable exists. So if it does exist, then do this. If it doesn't, then we just ignore everything, right? So let me move this redraw in there. I'm gonna move everything so. So we're gonna do an else statement and we'll do an alert here and say, please make a selection first. like that. Please make a selection first, like so. Okay, so let's try this out. If I refresh and say, boom, please make a selection first. Oh, okay, great. Now, if I try to make a selection right here, it tells me, please add an image first. Okay, good. So I add an image, try to save, please make a selection. So I make a selection, try to save, and it actually works. Okay, and save. There it is. If I try this again, nothing. Okay, so we're getting these pieces. Now, instead of creating these canvases here, what I want is just to create an image tag that I'm gonna put in here and then set that data as the source. So I'm gonna go to, um, where is this? These uh, images right here. So inside cropped images, there's a div with called image images. So we're gonna grab that and that's what we're going to append the images to. So at this point, copy data. So instead of doing this, we have to add images to uh, list, I guess. So we're gonna create a new image. So let img is equal to new image. Actually, instead of doing this, <coughs> we're gonna create an image object, an image uh, element. So we're gonna say create element img like that, okay. Then I'm gonna say img dot source so the source now is going to be the data from the small canvas. So how do we get that? We're gonna say canvas, canv, which is the small one, dot uh, to data URL like this. So that's the function that exports whatever is contained in the canvas as an image. So we export to data URL 
Now, once we export the data URL, this is not fit to be considered a source, or is it? Maybe it is. We're going to try it out. And then once we do that, we grab the uh, cropped images. We're going to say document.querySelector to grab that element. So it's dot cropped images. And then inside that, there is an images container. So we're going to grab that div and say dot append child. And then we're going to put that IMG, this image thingy. And uh, that should work. Okay, so we're creating an image element and then setting the source as the data URL from the canvas. And then we should see an image tag in here. So let's test that and see if it's actually working. So click there and save. Okay, so we have a problem. So it didn't manage to grab what we wanted to grab. That's because I forgot the dot here because this images is actually a class. So that's probably why. So let me load here again. Let's try it one more time and say save. And there we see an image. Very, very cool. If I save again, another image over there. Very nice. Another image and so on. The only thing is we need to organize these guys a little better so that they have the same width and height, that way they look better. So if I save and save, that's what we get. So we have image tags in here. If you inspect the element, you see there will be image tags in here that we've added. And there they are. Image with a source. And the source is data URL. Okay. Very, very good. All right, so we're getting somewhere. This is great. Now we just need to arrange these nicely. And then we need a way to hit the save button to actually save this inside a database so that we can reload it for the gameplay. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.